<laughs> are we live? We are live. Welcome to the Farm Sim Show, everybody. Yeah. Happy I think Friday. we're live. Are we live? We are live, baby. We I didn't hit the button live. right. I don't think I, I, I'm not good at hitting the button. I miss it yeah. a lot. Look, here's the thing. You, the button is easy to miss if you're really bad at it. <laughs> How do you get better at hitting the button? We just got to be on time next week. That's all. Well, I mean, we're technically before time right now. If you we, really we think are, about yeah, it, we're, we're fifty. But why is one of my computers saved with the time? Is oh, I got other problems. Uh, well, we know that, but I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, I am not uh, DJ Bot this week. At least I'm going to do my best. I went through and reviewed the footage last week, and it turns out I reached up to hit the button, and what I didn't do was was hit the button. Yeah. Uh, the next three, four weeks, three weeks, the next three weeks are going to be it. Oh, that's just, that hurts. Which if, button if, did you hit? Which button did you hit by accident last week? I, I can't uh, remember what it was. It, it, it was kind of like this one. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out we lost a lot of viewers in that five minutes that I was talking like that. Thanks, guys. Um, <laughs> just uh, do me a favor next time. Be like, yo, stop. I, I, they stop. they were, and I I kind of was as well, and I just figured you were going off on your own little tangent. Yeah, I thought it was my tangent that people were upset about. Nope, it was the fact that I was sounding like K-Bot the whole time. I'm sorry. I mean, <laughs> I, I usually let you just kind of go sometimes because I, I I can't get the I can't find the laser pointer to keep the cats penned in. Yep. But I mean, you were it was gone. You were gone. It was gone. Yeah, and then and then I was broken afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh we got uh we got some stuff to talk about uh kbot called me out and said the way i play farm sim is wrong so i'm gonna i'm gonna Aww. discuss that and then clutch can talk about however he does it um did you did you feel did you feel sorry about that like were you hurt did you have feelings no i mean the, the last one yeah i mean i do but i'm not sure like we'll just we'll talk about it we'll talk about it uh we uh we are also going to talk about how the next couple weeks of the show will be interesting it's, it's summer different. season, right? I mean, things have to change in the summer, don't they? They have to. Yeah, and and the fact that I'm uh, going, uh, I will be a time traveler next Wednesday. Uh, so yeah, and and there's a uh, a farming police officer that is currently about thirty thousand feet in the air, heading to North Carolina. Well, I guess that's better than being <laughs> about three thousand feet underwater. It's a sad situation. <laughs> I know. I know. A lot of people are not treating it as such. Oh, I'm boy. one of those. I'm one of those people. I've, I've got a. I've got a very, uh, very heavy heart for the Titanic. I, I learned as much about it as I possibly could when I was younger. And the the guys around are like, yeah, I'd have been. I'd have been one of those guys on there too, <laughs> just to be there. So the, um, I'm. I'm a bit of a, of a dark humor fan at times, and the yeah. memes have been relentless. They've been rough. They've been rough. Uh, uh, I will reiterate. Uh, I, I'm in the. It's a sad moment, uh, but the internet has not treated it as that at all. And I'm I think if you knew the people for sure, um, if you're looking from <laughs> a thirty thousand foot, well, that's not the right saying to say. But anyways, looking from a different viewpoint, there is some comedy to be had and to, to move along. I guess so you have to take it at that. So. Um, I don't know what else to say, but man, some of the memes out there, oh boy. They're I'm brutal. You. Yes. Hey, On geez. so many social fronts. So anyways, um, epic is the term Red says. Yeah, they were uh, they were epic <laughs> as well. You know, I was expecting them to die down. Like, I'm a, I'm a meme fan, if you guys know. I was expecting the memes to kind of tail off a little bit, you know, once kind of we learn more. They got and worse the yesterday. Last 24 hours have been... Like probably ten times worse for memes. To be perfectly honest, I mean, in a way, you have to look at it this way. You know the facts of the situation now, so it's been actually like four days removed. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Brian, how are you doing, man? Good to see you. Hey, Cal, how are you doing, buddy? Richard. Is um, yes, today we've got lots of things of farm sim related to talk to. Not so much submarine related stuff to talk about, but uh, farm sim stuff we're going to talk about. We're going to see if you've been playing farm sim wrong the whole time. And then, man. Or maybe it's just DJ talks and plays it wrong. I don't know. I will. It ain't right. <laughs> but I have so much fun. 
so we're going to talk about that. Of course, we'll bring, uh, we've got some stuff coming up down the pipe the next couple of days uh, for the next couple of farm some shows. Uh, some stuff coming from Farmsum directly, of course, that uh, we'll see if we can speculate a little bit on that. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's because a lot I of monsters to talk about. I don't have any new NDAs yet, so we get to talk about everything. That uh, You read into that however you want to. Uh, all right. Um, uh, and are we playing the game today? We don't play the game! But right, some of us play the game wrong, evidently. <laughs> Uh, so there you go. There is that. Uh, we have a good show today. It's going to be a little bit shorter than you guys are used to. Generally, we go for about an hour and a half, I think, normally. Um, but we'll it's supposed be- to be an hour. But Well, okay. We- there's about 35 to 40 minutes of substance, and then the rest of it's just whatever happens on the show. 35 um, minutes of substance? Holy, you are <laughs> optimistic. Yeah, uh, but today's going to be worse. So hang back and relax. Uh, this is a great way to... Uh, feel better about yourself at the end of the week. We're happy to help. <laughs> you feel better about yourself because you're not. Never mind. Anyways, let's go with this. The <laughs> Ooh, hey, 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 I just got the feed and the ducks going. I almost forgot. Oh. But, you know, it got me thinking. We were talking about memes and things kind of letting you down. Uh, I thought me. it was something that doesn't let you down. Tell you know me what about what does not let you down. What brings you up? You know what brings you up? Huge shouty outie goes out to today's sponsor, G Portal Game Servers. <laughs> they promised to pay me in chicken nuggies for this. Did you know that G Portal has the fastest game servers? And in fact, you can choose from a whole plethora of locations so you get the fastest speeds. Plethora. Ple- plethora. I like that word. G Portal Game Servers is also the easiest way to get you and your friends together in one game, regardless of which platform you play on. If it's Xbox, PlayStation, PC, any of you, you can all play together. And don't worry, you still get to play with all your mods. In fact, you can get 25 gigabytes of mod space on a G Portal game server. And even with all that, you're getting the fastest server, some of the most amount of mod space out there. I'm going to give you 10% off with a link down in the description. And believe me, that's like the best deal out there. You're not getting that just anywhere. In fact, I've looked, guys, and believe me, I'm looking for the best price if I have to pay to hang out with these two jabronis. And just remember, guys, G Portal Game Servers, they're faster than DJ Goham going off topic. We may heard cats here, but we heard our livestock over on G Portal Game Servers. Make sure you get your 10% off. Link in the description. Link down below. Get your G Portal server. They're the best. I'm going to go hang out with our partner manager next week, by the way. I, I'm going to miss out on that. I I, I was... I was actually just chatting with him earlier today, and uh, I'm kind of disappointed. I'm not going to get to see him this time. It's it's going to be safe. He's going to have his whole family there. So I know. Excited. And you get to miss it. Good job. I get to miss it. You know what? Maybe next year. Maybe next year I'll be there. Will you? It's a long ways away, man. I can't just go to Germany on the flick of a wrist. I got I got commitments. Yeah, we tried to get you to help plan this back in January. You said... I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I got commitments. <laughs> you got commitments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's uh, let's talk about our Those. commitment to our communities to show them all the cool different ways you can play this game. Hmm? Let's talk I about mean, that kind of commitment. Uh, do you, is, there a, is there a right way to play it? I think there's some interesting ways. So let's... There's got to be, what, like three three ways, maybe four primary ways. And then we got subsections. I want to talk about some of those. I do understand. We've got like uh, maybe Jaguar, virtual virtual farmer, kind of over here. They're doing their thing. Playing, not only playing the game right, but if, if you had realistic graphics, you might be fooled, right? Turn, turn them. Is, turn is, those. Are you, so you're just saying like real, is that the spectrum? Is it... Is that all there is? Is it realistic, ultra realistic to no, no. I you? Mean, like you to can... DJ over here and then the ultra realistic somewhere over there. Is that what you're saying? That's the only two. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, you got the sides right. Yeah, but, but not two. I'm, I'm going to make my way down. Some of them are in front of my face. Give me a second. 
got those graphics ready that I sent you. Um, yep. so, yeah, ready. <laughs> so, so I think we've got that. I think those guys do a great job. And I, geez, are the, are the graphics on yet? Are <laughs> they on? <laughs> the wrong I don't know. Ones, are they man. on? Um, there are, uh, the way they play the game is awesome. And funny enough, it's kind of how I play off screen when I'm just playing by myself. It's, I actually enjoy playing the game that way. So and like then, Ultra, now like Daggerwind doesn't like his, he has his whole role play series as well. Right. Yeah. Where that's not that, necessarily realistic. Right. I think that that would be more considered a subsection of that possibly a subsection of the middle which i would consider just playing the game as the game is intended to be played if you've got some stuff and you got a bail you need to pick it up you pick it up with the forks and you move it and it falls you're like ah that suck Uh, and then you got like you know other stuff like that but you're basically Uh. just playing the game you're like it's a game this is how you do it in the game this is how i'm gonna do it in the game so you, that's 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 one way with the subsection you're saying. That's it. Yeah, I, I think that's in the middle. Oh, okay. I think it's, oh, I has game, I plays game. I has game, I plays game. <laughs> and, so and what it, about how you play it? Well, it's, it's over here, I think, is very much so over here. But I do think that there's further over than where I am. I would consider myself kind of in the middle or maybe even the subsection of the middle. All right. So you are brand new to Farming Simulator. Go back five, six years ago for you, right? Yeah. 2017. Mm -hmm. How would you recommend now that people just start by playing? Like, what would be the recommendation to start with? Oh, man. Base game equipment and a base game map. Really? And get you. Yep. I actually used to recommend that people, whenever they started playing, go and harvest a field of wheat. Usually there's one field of wheat, like that field that you get. Go harvest it, and then seed it again, and then harvest it again, and seed it again, harvest it again. If harvest between two, that sucks, by the way, because uh, you got to wait like half a year. So that's not always fun. Not wrong. But in future or previous games, you could set the time to one twenty, and half of the field could be ready to harvest after you'd already harvested a section because you'd already gone through with a seeder again. See, that's, that is something I have definitely noticed. I think Farm Sim 22 is definitely harder for people to get into. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's interesting you brought that up because you do have a lot bigger time span to wait. And I see comments about that all the time. Like, well, what do you do when you're not, when you're not, uh, when you're not waiting for, when you're not harvesting or planting your crop now, and especially in early game? Yeah. It, I think when they added these production chains, they made it to where if you got crops to harvest every single day, be way too OP. And so to mitigate that, you just have a realistic you know, seeding and planting schedule. Hmm. Plus. So um, now you've played Farms in 23, of course. Um yeah. how are those videos going by the way? I don't remember the last time I recorded one. Uh have you been playing it at all lately? I just no, I hadn't had the time. Uh I'm just thinking like Nobody watched the videos, so that made me to believe that either they were crap or no one cared. Either way, I didn't want to waste my time, you know, 10 to 15 hours a week extra doing that when nobody cared. <laughs> Fair enough. So. <laughs> I find that Farm Sim 23, though, is a better way to learn about farms, farming simulator because of the way the crop works. There's no waiting. Like, as soon as you harvest, you can plant again. Right, what? it's the old style. Oh, in the mobile game? Yes. Yeah, I mean, it takes a couple months, still. Yeah, but like you could right away, as soon as you harvest a crop, you can pl- replant it. Like oh, there's yeah, no yeah, waiting yeah. around there's anymore, right? No like it's the calendar. old style farm sim all over yeah. again. There's no seasonal cycles that are built into it. Now, I mean, obviously in farm sim 19 or 22, you can disable that, right? Yeah, but then you still have to wait like six to eight months, if not longer, for certain crops to actually grow. Yeah, I guess. So I... I just want to, like, the Grow Now button. Love that button. Just press yeah. it in there. It's like, whoop. I mean, I think I accidentally went six or seven episodes on Edgewater on the same day in game, and I at least had two harvests. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, it kind of stinks. When you look back, it's like, man, hmm. 
it would have been so nice if they had just left that alone and then made another button to be like, it, or you could do this. Sorry, noises. All right, so you think that you, you find it more difficult then for new players? Basically. Yeah, farm, farm, like farm sim 19 or even 17. <laughs> you okay, Bear Bud? <laughs> or dog, dog making noise. <laughs> Uh, I think it's much, much more difficult to understand the basics when it takes so long to do the basics. I do wonder if that's a sticking point. I, I, I don't, I don't know if, if farm sim or giants has any way of seeing like what the progression is of players. I don't think they do. Mm. Um, whether it's like, there's not like a communication that happens online behind yep. the scenes that you don't know about, obviously, but it'd be interesting to see like what the average play time is for a lot of new players like the first time they throw the game into like how many people get sick of like oh i don't want to wait for this i'm gonna go do something else why don't you do a poll on youtube well because it's, if that's gonna be if, if you're watching us right now chances are you are more on the especially two and a half two years into farming simulator almost i think that you folks know the <laughs> ins and outs of it <laughs> picking rocks is the Tony. wrong way to play oh hey, tony's no. killing me tony's no, killing man. me <laughs> you got a there. tail coming in, coming in, ready to go. There he is. Finish your pizza. He's looking for food. He's looking for cold pizza. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I I do think that getting into the game and just learning, because I mean that's the way that's the way I did it for years. I mean I played Farms in fifteen and seventeen. Yeah, like a lot. Seventeen, a lot. Whole time for Dave. All and all I did was cultivated. And and seeded and harvested. I didn't do any fertilizing, nothing. I had workers buy everything. And then on top of that, I had time on 120. And it's interesting. In Farm Sim 15, and by the way, that is a really slow way to make money, believe it or not. Uh, in Farm Sim 15, I did that for hours. Like I would sit there for five or six hours at a time. But in 17, it was funny because I bought it and I bought the like the full version with all the DLCs included. Yeah. And it was so funny because I almost applied to get my money back because it was so difficult to make money in Farm Sim <laughs> 17. Now, keep in mind, Farm Sim 17 had been out for over a year. The Platinum DLC had already come out mm -hmm. and there were these little green boxes that you could put down and then fast forward the time an hour and be like, oh, look where this money came from. I don't know. Instead, I was doing tractor dupe glitches, like I was playing Grand Theft Auto, <laughs> which worked, by the way, blew my mind. Um, and then putting windmills everywhere just to get extra cash, and I'd get like two million dollars overnight, and I'd be like, "Yeah, who's working now?" <laughs> and I was an idiot, <laughs> what I was. Um, yeah, it's, it was, uh, but it was not knowing the, the the glitches and the cheats and the fun stuff because. The only people that played even remotely unrealistic that were making content. There was not a lot of people making videos back then. No. Nope. Um, and the only people that were, were trying to play the game the right way. The right way? Well, uh, group A. Oh, okay. So the way the game was intended to be played, do you think? Is that... That's group two. What do you think, like Giants? <laughs> think about what Giants looks at. Do they? Do you think they have a, spe a sp specific way that they expect people to play the game? Like, is there one way that they they build the game and expect people to play it that way? See, that's interesting because you've got a lot of people that work at Giant Software who farming simulator is not their obsession. Fair enough. It is my obsession. They're, I would they're a say game developer. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It's they they go to. It's their their job. Their job is to make the game that we all love. Mm -hmm. So I I think for them, it is how good can they make it look and how realistic can they make it look, but how can they make it fun? And okay. I think they are appealing to group two, which is smack dab in the middle, which is the people that are like, I has game, I play his game. I has game. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, when I make these cat jokes, um, you you kind of just roll right into it. You know that, right? I didn't I didn't hear the the, the cat joke of no, it. Like that's the cat meme, right? I has that the has thing is like the cat meme almost, right? Oh. So it? you're just you're helping me out here is what I'm saying. I appreciate Ow. you. I don't know much about memes. <laughs> 
I'm, Apparently I'm, not. I'm still in the the old school one. Yep. You know, with the, the the cartoon pink and yellow character. All the things. That's still memes in in like my head. So. Oh okay. What yeah. was what was the raptor? Did you ever see the raptor meme? What was it called? The Velociraptor. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> what, uh, was that what was that called? It had a specific name. Ve- it was like the Velociraptor. It was no, not Ve- Veloc. No, Philosa. Like, Philosa. Philosa. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. I know this because my buddy Carson hated them, and so I sent him one every day. <laughs> I love them. They were my they were my fave by by far. Dude, we need to bring this. back Velociraptor. I think more often. Maybe I'll put All some right. in my videos. You want to hear some real talk from DJ Hamilton right now, real quick? Sure, let's go. I mean, we got time. I took uh, "Sorry for Party Rocking" LMFAO. Yep. And I made the entire thing out of memes. <laughs> Why? And it was and it was so funny because everybody was like, uh, "None of these make sense." Because I thought memes were just like, "Oh, it's a funny picture with funny words about it." Not that like each one was a, you know, there was a, a flow to them. So I Good just job. wrote all the lyrics to "Sorry for Party Rocking" and memes, and made a video of it on Windows Media Maker. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and I'm, I am. I would love almost, to see that video. Can you send it to me? Do you still have it? I am almost positive that it's somewhere on Facebook. Brian, how you doing, brother? Speaking of but, party rocking, Brian's got the party rocking hands out. Sorry for party rocking. Oh man. Two. Um, <laughs> one does not just get into memes. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, you kill me. So, anyway, yeah, we'll get I'm back actually, on topic. I'm trying so, you to think Giants it. is trying to accommodate both people and just make a fun game, not I, worrying I, too much about it, realism it, in a sense? Yeah, I mean, I think because we're the ones, you know, when you're just playing the game, you don't have to just say, uh, you know, I'm playing Farm Sim today. You know, at the beginning, if you're playing realistic, you're like, welcome back to the realism experiment. Or, you know, today we're going to try and do, um, you know, we're going to try and play as realistically as we would normally in real life. And then when I play, I'm like, we're going to have some fun today. <laughs> and then we just go over here, add a couple zeros. But you're editing the game itself now, right? That's the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, so, before... before- but before it was on PC for you, when you were playing on console, you would still find ways to mess with that as well, right? Mm, well, no, because I bought a Xbox and tried to crack it just so I could get into the files of Farm Sim. And turns out that's not the way it works. <laughs> but you yeah. still like, like, whether it be like government subsidy mods or whatever else, right? You oh, find yeah, yeah, modding yeah. or even yeah. just doing things that were ridiculous in game that people on the realism side of the spectrum would be like, Oh, geez, why am I watching this? But yeah, right? yeah, like adding a bunch of trailers together. Yeah. Or on Lone Oak, for example, I would take out a loan because if you paid your loan back within an hour in game or thir- 30 minutes, maybe something like that, you. It didn't count. <laughs> Goggle pops up, man. Uh, speaking of an OG right there, it didn't count. But like if you took out a loan and then use that loan to buy a piece of equipment in seasons in Farm Sim yep. 17 and you returned it within 30 minutes or an hour, you didn't actually have to pay for it. You got the full amount of money back. Yeah. So I did the Goham Co, which is what my real life oh. business is called now. Um, I work <laughs> for the Goham company. <laughs> and it, it was so funny. Speaking of goose, Goggle Pop was the lawyer that helped me put it together. And I was like, why is the in the, in the title? And why is company in an LLC? <laughs> like, this is what I want. This is what I want, man. Leave me alone. Um, so I would take out a loan so I could get an extra truck and some extra trailers so I could make two trips with yep. two trucks instead of like six trips with oh one boy. truck. So I would do that. And then I would try and get it done as quick as possible and then sell it all. <laughs> hey, I made that company. See, I told you. That's awesome. <laughs> I, I do find it somewhat interesting when you look at what Giants, what the tools that Giants puts into the game um, to make, to try to appease to both sides of the spectrum though, right? Mm-hmm. Because there obviously is a realistic side that, that they try to appease to. And there's some people that want to play ultra, super realistic. And I think when you, I can understand why Giants doesn't want to go down that. And it's really to get new people into the game. Because if you come brand spanking new into Farming Simulator and 
you had to do like manual attach um like the real the, the traction mods were all all enabled right off the bat i get it like the difficulty you can ramp up the difficulty in farm sim pretty quickly and yeah. i i do find it's somewhat funny the way that they put the difficulty levels in farm sim like yeah but they don't do anything from easy to hard that it doesn't change gameplay at all all it changes the prices yep like, and oh, I, do I do you want get to make comments it harder about that because a lot of times I will play on easy because it's like, well, I'm going to do a 10, a 10 episode series on this map. Yeah. Or to do 10 episodes on hard difficulty, that means I've got to play like twice as many years to try to get through it or three times as many yep. years to try and make the same type of thing. So there's a reason make... that I do that, at least personally. Yeah. Um, and I know some of you guys comment on that. Like, why are you playing on easy? Like, well, that's the reason. It doesn't make sense. You guys, yeah. You're not going to want to watch 30 episodes of the same crap over and over and over again. Yep. I, I'd heard a, uh, actually Dagger one, uh, this was 2017, 2018, somewhere on there. He's playing Farms of 17 and people were asking him why he didn't play on American maps and why yeah. he only played on smaller European maps. Yeah. And he said, he was like, well, if I'm going to do a job, it's going to take me less time to do a small field. Yep. And I'm from the UK. So it makes sense that I would use what I'm familiar with. Yes. And he can do it quicker because it's a smaller map, which is... And he, yep. Instead of doing, you know, a... If you've got a 20 or 30 minute video, let's say you got a 30 minute video and you've got four fields to do. Well, that's what? Eight minutes? Yeah. Seven minutes per field, somewhere around there? Yep. If you've got four fields that are massive, you've got to figure out how to fit all that in and not be boring. So <clears throat> I got a thought experiment for you then. Oh, I it, all right. Couple couple problems. It's, we're gonna go down the same rabbit hole. Don't worry, it's all good. Okay. So taking what we have right now, say we want to change that a bit. What mm -hmm. could we change with that difficulty setting, like to to, to make that make more sense in a way? Because I really don't like the way they have it set up right now. I think there's better ways we could use that difficulty setting. What do you e think? What what could we do? Yeah. So so I, I obviously I think easy mode is kind of like what we've got now. Let's be honest, Farmstead's not that hard. Right. No. Uh, part, so no. I think if we, we keep what we've got, we've got the, you know, the, the amount of money that we make right now, you know, cedar and, and, you know, helpers buy seed and fertilizer turned on and manure and everything, you know, that makes it easy. And things that make the game easier, make the game easier. So it's yep. an easy mode. Yep. I think doing a now I'm not quite sure what a what a hard mode would be, but I think do or a medium, but I think a hard mode would definitely be like, okay, now when it rains, you might you know have some mud in your field. Now I know we have mud mods and things like that, but it would be so cool to have those finally based game so the yep. console players could enjoy them because they are fun and they make the game. I mean, it slows you down. It makes things totally different. Yep. And I want to die. But problem. Um, it would be interesting, that's for sure, to have that as an option built right into the game. Yeah, uh, that um, you know the the opportunity for your animals to to die, and randomly, yep. you know, pops up and be like, oh yeah, your cow died. It was sick or something. Sorry, <laughs> mad <laughs> cow like, disease. It's a thing. Like oh crap. Uh, I named that one. What, <laughs> what was that supposed? To, so what am I supposed to do now? Oh. <laughs> You're a farmer. Good luck. You don't have the cow anymore. Bye. <laughs> and it, so I think it would be much easier to to see, you know, be, or, or link some sort of real life thing that happens in real life mm -hmm. to these, you know, events, random events that could happen. Um, you know, it'd be, it'd be interesting. It, mm. it would definitely be interesting. Um, you know, these these are the things that could happen if you are in in this mode. And you, you go from you know, hard mode, locusts eat your crops. Yeah. Um, Jurassic Park <laughs> Dominion. You know, big ones, the big, the big locusts. I do like, like Richard even said that, uh, I think it was Richard said that as well, having equipment actually break down properly as well. Like that mm -hmm. seems part of, and I, I don't know how Giants is, was going to, to reach that topic in a way. Like there's a reason we can't have damage on equipment, like actual yeah. damage, yeah, right? These, yeah, the companies don't want that. No, the companies don't want that at all. <clears throat> but even breaking down, and I, I could they could they approach a company and just say, "Well, don't worry, all tractors break down at the same. Like, it's, it's the same thing. It doesn't matter what tractor it is. They're all going to break down after X amount of hours if the yeah. if the player doesn't repair them." Yeah, I, I think there's 
I still think there'd be pushback, especially from some of the companies um, that would not approve that, especially can't on a base game, right? Can't imagine which one those would be. <laughs> <laughs> hard to hard to uh, hard to imagine which company some of us show for, isn't it? Weird. <laughs> Don't look around too hard. Um, Just so looking actually, around for I, I mean, that's I, I not green, man. There's some <laughs> mods that will allow us to do that to some degree. But Damn. so basically, I think what you were saying is the easy, medium, and hard levels would be more attuned to going from just fun to simulation once again. Yeah, but yeah, and that's the thing. It it doesn't go just hard mode. It goes from non-realistic to realistic as well. Yeah. So. You, you've got to look at that and be like, I didn't want realistic. I wanted harder. Yeah. <clears throat> so how do you how do you go about just making it harder? And I guess, because that's almost that's almost kind of where we're at right now. It's we it, the money mode, right? It just changes the, the, the cost of things and the, yeah, the just, money you make. It takes you that's, longer to do the same thing. Yeah. So that's kind of what it does right now. But in a way, you're, you're, you're saying going from just playing the game to making it so it's closer to being realistic is what makes it more difficult interesting yeah. okay so i mean it's it's definitely two different things and maybe there's a, a slider for both yep easy medium hard you know or normal hard um yep. and then possibly a you know unrealistic realistic uh whatever dj is <laughs> <laughs> uh, also I, I i will say you remember back in farm sim i think it was 19 Yep. Or 17 when the case quad track was the only track to vehicle. Yep. And we were we were asking about like, well, why? Like we're we're to this point already. I, and I don't think the the nine RX had come out yet. Or at least in the game, not with Borco. Uh, but it still is like, well, we've got this and that's it. It's like, ah, well, people will make uh, people will mod more stuff. It'll be fun. Yep. And I think I mean even the simulation or realistic mo mode that we're talking about right now, I feel like Giants has almost relied a little bit on on modders to do some of that stuff for the yeah. people that want to play that way. Because, like I said, I'd be curious to see what the subsec the subsection is of people that really want that hardcore simulation experience versus the people that are either just playing to have some fun or the people that are just in the middle range somewhere playing to play the game and not yeah. necessarily have the full realism on, right? Because like even right now with with some of the mods, you can make it fairly simulation based. I think. Yeah. There are, there's definitely some ways. Now there's a lot. There's still some things that are lacking that we can't seem to to find a way to get in game. Uh, it, I don't know if it's just a, I don't know. I'm not a modder, so I don't know if it's a limitation of of the the engine. Um, but I mean, there's some things I would love to see, and I'm I think I made like 171 points on what I wished I would could possibly see in Farm Sim 22 about two and a half years ago. It may be time to make another one of those videos, just speaking of which. Maybe it's time. Oh, boy. Um, and that's just right. Old Timer Dave, if modders weren't there, the game would be... It, it wouldn't exist. It definitely wouldn't exist to the same extent. Yeah. Um, DJ and I were talking about this, like we were talking about beforehand, Farm Sim 23 is out. And as content creators for Farm Sim 23, trying to make content for that where there's there's only one way to start the game in, on one of two maps. That's mm -hmm. it. And you have to basically play within a very strict set of boundaries to start off for those first probably five years yeah. where pretty much everyone is going to do the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. Realistically, there's not a lot of leeway there. And then once you get past that first hurdle, yeah, okay, there's a couple different branches you can start going off into, whether it be livestock or a haying or maybe maybe the BGA or whatever it might be, or maybe some of the factories you might be able to push into now. But I think generally speaking, like, the most of the, the people are going to have to play farms in 23 exactly the same for a few hours at least to get into it yeah it's well you've got the same equipment you can't change the mode that you're in yep. if you're on nintendo switch you can't buy any extra cash to to get extra equipment and there is no dlc stuff there there's no mod so, stuff obviously so yeah no it's uh it's tough it, it yep. is but it's always been like that it has. And like I said, that's not to take away from Farm Sim 23. It's still a fun game to play. And but as a content creator for and trying to come up with original ideas that maybe someone hasn't thought about, you run out of ideas pretty darn quick, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Farm uh, Sim 23, 15 on earlier consoles was brutal. As well. Even on PC, yeah. I played. That was my first experience was Farm Sim 15. And I didn't know anything about mods back then either. 
So it was the two maps. Uh, luckily, Westbridge was a fun map to play. I really enjoyed that mm -hmm. one. But base game equipment, and once you own half the map and you have the best tractors and best harvesters, I was like, well, I could keep doing this, I guess, but why? <laughs> I couldn't, I didn't un understand what where to go from there, really. Yeah, that, that was the thing there as well. And, and, you know, a lot of people have mentioned the three-year cycle that we were on right now. And who knows? Maybe it'll be a four-year cycle. We're not quite sure. But I do know that a lot of the modders that I've spoken with have enjoyed it because they can spend a little bit more time on something like a map or maybe, uh, you know, a tractor. And they're not like, oh, I've got to get it finished by the end of this month because next month they're announcing the next game. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That's uh, that's not not necessarily wrong either. Um, yeah. As a content creator, I would love to see it on a two-year cycle personally. Yeah, I, helps I know Giants <laughs> team isn't exactly the biggest team in the world. Yep. Um, so I understand why they want more time to really develop new ideas. And I mean, we, we discussed this with lots uh, in the past as well. When you compare from 19 to 22, okay, they added global companies or production chains. Yeah. So that's really the I, big thing minus i mean the seasonal cycles okay but these are both mods that have just been implemented in full time into the game now yeah there's not yeah. a lot of things that have really changed in the grand scheme of things this is very true um i do i saw one comment and i i want to uh, address it in a in a very positive way so giants depend on modders too much do we depend on modders too much I, is it the, I, is it the, I wouldn't say Giants depends on them. I mean, they, they still it's still a solid base game. I, I don't know what else. Yeah, but it is like, so let's say people like me, for example, that do yeah. mod reviews and stuff like that. And, and, you know, everybody gets used to seeing those every day. Yeah. They're like, oh, we didn't have mods today. Today sucked. <laughs> like, yeah, well, we got 200 mods last week. And we've got <laughs> almost 4,000 mods on the mod hub in the past year and a half. So it's like, uh, is it us that uh, that that uh, expects m too much out of the modders? You or might be one hundred percent right on that. Um, I mean, there's no other game that supports modders to the same degree that Giants no, does. I, I can think of. No, like we all we all love it. Thank you, modders. You're the best. We we love y'all. Get yeah, like get, I get it in. I, I look through the rest of the games that I <laughs> that I play on the on any kind of regular. I see City Skylines is there is in there. There's a ton of modders for City Skylines that have stuff that goes into a, the workshop on Steam, yep. but they're not they're still not integrated the same way that Giants does. Like there's, I don't know if there's any other game that has a a mod yep. hub or any place in game that's dedicated for modders to to show off their stuff. Yep. Um. Could it be better? Of course it could be better. But I mean, I'm trying to think of other simulation type games from even like, oh, well, I guess Flight Sim does have some kind of a mod hub of sorts. That's yeah. a whole other beast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and actually Creative Mesh do stuff for that as well. <laughs> yeah. That one there. And that's a whole other one because that's not, there's not free mods there either, which there's very few things that are free in that mod hub. So that's almost like a DLC made by modders. That's, which is a whole other topic which oh, we may have to talk about at some point in time hopefully not but you never know um and i'm thinking like even american truck sim or euro truck sim which are comparable in a lot of ways i find a farming simulator right bunch of mods right but they're not base game you're you're not base, they're not in game you can't you can't go into a mod hub in game and download them you have to go to a third party site somewhere find these mods or buy them and then install them in your game and I think that game there, like they rely pretty heavily on their modding community as well, because there's no, there's not a lot of new trucks that come out for that, but their, their, their DLCs are always just maps, always new maps yeah. coming out, not new gameplay features, not new trailers, really every once in a while, some DLC comes out, but they're usually paid for. They rely pretty heavily on people modding for us. So, um, it is interesting. SnowRunner is another good, does SnowRunner have a mod hub? It does, does too, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 I think it was yeah, the one time you well, played SnowRunner, was... you saw it? Uh, yeah, I, mean, I still got the controller over there if you want to look at it. Uh, by the way, I accidentally <laughs> broke another controller the other day. It wasn't on a rage quit. I tri So uh, in the living room in here where I've got the Xbox hooked up to the TV, um, I have a wired solution because I always, if I can, I wire the stuff. Even though, you know, it's, it's a wireless controller, I still like everything wired up. It's, yep, yeah, boom. Uh, the problem is sometimes if the lights are off and you didn't put the controller back under the TV, mm -hmm. there's about 10 feet 
where you could trip over it at any given length, anywhere in that 10 feet. Uh, sometimes you grab it with flip flop and accidentally kick it across the room and have to spend sixty dollars on a new drawer. <laughs> oh man, that's I got hard, hardwood floors downstairs. Just if anybody's curious. Uh, that's yeah. an interesting. Having contracts for yeah, transport. miss those. There just, are some maps that still have them. Those Do were you, new, new to Farm Some Nineteen, right? Uh, I don't remember when they came new, but I know like I've. I know some maps I've played have those as those as options. I've, I've seen a lot of map developers um, that do some interesting stuff with the contracts, right? Mm. Like I, I know, um, is it Newlands? Newlands has stuff where you can go around and pick up garbage from like the, the houses will automatically generate garbage, and you can go around and pick up the garbage and take them to the dump, and you get paid a nominal price for picking up garbage around the map, like once a month or whatever. They'll generate a bag of garbage and some recycling. You can go pick that up, throw it in a truck. And drive it to the dump, and you get paid for it. It's interesting. Uh, I I never seen anyone do that before. So they made it so you own technically own the houses, so because they're little factories right mm. off the bat when you start the game. I also have contracts like um, there's not like a highway that runs through that map as well, and you can do the contracts where you take care of like the grass in the interchange. So they okay. want you to go and like be mow the t mow the grass around the yeah. uh, the clover leaves mm. and everything. New lands. Now this is a look new lands. Up. New map. New, I think it's new lands. New lands. Yeah, it, new it lands. is new lands. It came out of. It was like PC only in Farm Sim 19, and then in 22. Yeah, from window right here, and then in 22 it came out on PC first, I think, but then released on all platforms as well. Yeah, I, and I don't know if it does it on all platforms or not. On the PC, the contracts were pretty good on that map. It kind it's of a, caught me off guard. It's a neat idea uh, a, for making uh, a little extra play. money. Yeah, it's a crossplay map, so it would have to be. Is it not on consoles for, for those contracts? Interesting. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that According is to Console Sim Guy, yeah. Huh. So, anyways, well, they they have some interesting takes. I, I wish that was that was available on console. I think it's a neat idea. Um, and when modders kind of push some of the boundaries on that, I know Nitro Dad does that on PC for his maps. He makes some interesting contracts a lot of the times as well. That yeah, he, uh, he throws in there. I'm gonna uh, post up a link right there for New Lands map if anybody wants to check it out. Yeah. Anyways, pretty cool. Uh, Dash Dad, yes. There we go as well. So da Dash Dad did some contract <clears throat> stuff as well, didn't he, on his maps? Oh, I have no idea. It's been a while. I haven't played one of his maps in a long, long time. It's been a while. But Big Sky Trucker, uh, you, yeah, no. I mean, the Giants wouldn't be, I think, as far along. Or they would have had to have innovate uh, much, uh, much uh, faster. But uh, you are absolutely right. Thanks for helping get that conversation started. Great, great. Uh, not only comment, but uh, uh, yeah, all, all the above. I'm bad at this. I, I'm just trying to figure out where we can go <laughs> with with the next. Like, obviously, we're Crips. we're starting to look Crips. at some put them in. Put them in. Give us GPS. I don't want it, but put it in. Uh, give us better uh, AI workers, not actual idiots, real idiots. Give us the RI. Um, you know, you know, uh, what's the, what's the thing? What's the, the, uh, chat thing? Chatbot, chat GPT. Yeah. Yeah. Give us chat GPT. What do you like, want chat GPT for? Uh, something I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It would be so interesting to see some of these, these things because I mean, it's farming simulator. What haven't we really done? Right. Bigger maps. You're not wrong. Us, I agree. Give us some bigger maps. One thing that people don't realize with bigger maps, uh, a 4X map is four times bigger than a normal map. So it's going to take four times as long to make it. So just kind of is that what 4X but... means? Oh. Yeah. I always call, I always call you know, a regular map 2X because it's two kilometer by two kilometer. But really, uh, that's a 1X apparently to PC players. The console players call that a 2X map when a 4X map is four kilometers by four kilometers. Yeah. So there's no way to actually say... You know, standard size map. But what's an 8x? That would be 16 at that point. Well, there is not... technically no such thing as an 8x map, though. Yeah, but like, if there was, what right? wouldn't it not be like, right? I guess, but it's technically a 16x, just the way the squares all fit up. You, you you go up like that instead of like a long line, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I, I can to... draw pictures if you want. Don't want to show some. No, you're good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I'm not always good with my shapes. I watched Squid Game last week, but like, I still felt weird about the shapes. I can't remember which one the square was. Is that the good guy <laughs> or the bad guy? I don't know if there's any good guys in that show. Anyways, 
I, I do I do question where we go next. And I mean, I've obviously had my opinions on on terrain. I would love to see like deformable terrain. That's one of the things I would love to see. A better weather system, yeah, of course. But all of these things that I intend to talk about now tend to, to be stuff that pushes more into the simulation world and maybe increases the difficulty as well. Yeah. But and I, I think once you play Farm Sim for an X amount of time, that's the general progression, I think, for most people. That's They always tend to push towards making things a little bit more difficult. I don't know. <laughs> Yosh just sent me a, a square chart diagram. <laughs> <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> the Thanks, editor of Farm Sim News, everybody. Thanks, Yos. <laughs> I get to see him. We're staying in the same hotel next weekend. Nice. All right. We'll we, say hi for me. Maybe we'll have to we'll voice chat. We'll have to, we'll we, have to FaceTime or something. We, yeah, or, you know, call it the Farm Sim Show and do it on Thursday. Or for, well, no, he won't be yeah. there on Thursday. We'll have to do that, too. We'll have to do Yeah. I don't know. We'll figure, we'll figure all that out. We are getting close to the point where I'm going to have to get ready to jump out of my chair and go grab a shower real fast to get ready. But we got like 10 minutes. Yeah. Well, I know you've got stuff to go do, but I got to go pick a person up. <sighs> you guys are, I can't believe he's, how long has he stayed at your house for? It was like five days, dude. It's like, well, six days, six days and five nights. So I pick him up today and then we actually are going back to the airport together. My dad's taking us to the airport next Wednesday because we fly out on Wednesday. So we fly out to Lowingen uh, Wednesday next week. We land on Thursday and we'll get there Thursday. Um, and uh, the event is Saturday and Sunday. And I have a, uh, a an autograph signing at the event. Why is my microphone so far away? I could hear you at all. You're good. You're 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 loud enough. Oh, it's <laughs> it's turned up. Yeah, yeah, we got you. Um, yeah, um, I'm lucky. You're you're lucky. It'll be fun. I mean. He's paying you in back rubs, I'm sure, the whole time he's there for staying at your place, right? And feeding him. I he had said something else, but I, it made me feel uncomfortable, so I don't have to say it out loud. Hey, uh, it I don't remember. It sounds like somebody's knocking on my door real quick. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, I'm gonna have to go check that real fast. Again? Re yeah. Well, it could, it's been a little while since realtors came to visit. It's probably Why do you do this time. every stream lately? Just leave me alone. Are your eyes watering right now? Is that what's going on? No, when I got my eye surgery back in 2020, something happened to my right eye, so it just naturally. I thought it was your constantly. your air softener, your thing, your your air freshener. Is it making you sick again? All right, you want to make fun of me for that while I'm gone? Go I'm, for I'm it. I'm definitely we'll gonna make fun of you, but I I mean, we can choose what we make fun of you with. <laughs> make fun of me for that when I get back. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Realtors are knocking. Who has the show with <laughs> the realtors are knocking? I I don't even know what to tell him. This guy. Um, I guess he uh, he bought some air fresheners in his house, but it turns out he might be allergic to them as well. <laughs> um, so the, my question my question is, why wouldn't you just get rid of the air fresheners? Yeah, JT, um, this seems like this is a going joke with um, with with the Farm Sim show. The realtors show up pretty much every time. You'd think he could get his bowels in order. I mean, not that that has anything to do with it. <laughs> uh i hear for dj make fun of him anyway yeah, exactly we can make fun of goham it's all okay um yeah he's got stuff going on later on today so we had to start the show earlier next week um things are going <laughs> oh boy he's listening uh things are going to change a bit next week it will not be on friday i am not available on friday next week as well so you guys are aware we'll come and chat probably it might be thursday but dj's at farm con so we're gonna have to see how this all comes together um it's uh things, be prepared things are in flux well obviously we started today as well oh boy it still smells around here get your you boy you're killing me here dj uh will the realtor please stand up yeah you're no kidding yos <laughs> so next week things will be a little bit different here on the farm some show expect maybe a thursday show um is might be the earliest we'll see i don't even know he was ordering food earlier tonight i don't by the smell of things I don't think it's food he's getting right now. I'm just saying. Uh, so FarmCon, Texas Toast. You don't know what FarmCon is? Oh, boy. Well, we can talk about that briefly. Um, so Giants puts on. It's kind of like TwitchCon. It's kind of like PAX. Any of these, the, the large gaming shows. It's happening over in Germany next week. Two weeks from now, I guess. A week and a half from now. And it's just where they talk about all things Farming Simulator. It's a one day, technically a two day event, but one day where they talk about uh, all the farming sim of stuff that's coming up in the relatively new future. So um, we're expecting probably to get some information on the, uh, the year-end DLC. 
So the, whatever it's going to be called, it's the, the last DLC of the year with a new map that we're probably most likely getting. And uh, whatever the root crop is, it looks like carrots, just saying. Anyway, so we're probably gonna get some more information on that come FarmCon. Uh, so DJ is going to be there with Farmer Cop and a few others, and they'll probably be reporting on it live. So you get some more information on exactly what's coming down the pipe for Farming Simulator by the end of the year. So that's all happening over in Germany. Um, yeah, you'll, pro you'll probably see stuff on the Farming Simulator web webpage and on their YouTube channel as well. Guaranteeing you'll see that. So uh, go check that out as well. Uh, Eric, how are you doing? Good to see you. Bryce, welcome in. Good to see you as well. So yeah, <laughs> going around realtor. Like I said, if you haven't, starts next Saturday. There we go. Um, will you hurry up with the code Brown and, and I mean the realtor and hurry up and get back in here? So we can wrap things up. Next game, Nick. I I wish. I I wish, guys. Um, you've got me on record saying we're not going to hear anything for the, for the next game on this this one. Maybe maybe next spring. Let's go with next spring. Let's go with next spring, please. Um, that's what I'm going to go with. Our, we'll hear something on the next game. Unless we're going on to a four-year cycle, which I really hope not. But you never know. It could happen. I'm hoping next spring. So um, I'm going to guess Farm Sim 24, November of 24. There you go. I can't speak German. N Nick, don't worry. You don't need to speak German. DJ will tell you everything. He speaks German, apparently. Or Realtor. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> and he's in here. He's sitting on his phone, too. Thanks. Thanks, Gilham. Uh, Farmson 25. Uh, maybe. You never know. There's an English. There you go. See, Gilham knows what's up. There's an English. There's an English version. Uh, they usually stream it live a lot of the times as well, right? So, yeah, stay tuned for that. There'll be, there'll be something. You guys will get lots of information. Uh, going to be at Cedar Point. I would love to go to Cedar Point. Sure. Uh, streaming tonight, maybe. Could happen. Don't, don't quote me on this right now. I've got a motorcycle I got to fix today still, and... I'm getting in trouble for it because I got to get it running. So we'll see. Uh, Randy, how you doing, brother? Uh, good to see you, man. Yeah, so Cedar Point, you never know. It could happen. I don't think it's going to happen this summer. I am booked up this summer like you wouldn't believe. But you never know. It could happen. It could happen. So yeah, we may be live on this channel tonight um, if I can get my stuff in order. I like doing the Friday night streams. You guys know that. So anyways, Richard, you were the only one that I, that I talked to that was super excited for the last DLC. So hey, man. Whatever makes you happy, I'm good with it. <laughs> I don't, don't want to think about that. Uh, no one wants to speak realtor. I was. I, I don't know if I should wait for him or not anymore. I don't know if we should just continue on. Maybe we should wait for him. I, I don't know. I, I, maybe. Oh, he is here. There he is. He did make it back. Woo! He did make it back. Wow, you feel better? I mean, oh. realtor, um, have any new information for you? Uh, like and subscribe. Did you fill out the paperwork? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't make a second copy, though. <laughs> uh, anyways, thanks for making me fill the time as usual. I appreciate you. I got, well, I was answering questions in chat. I, you know, I help. You yeah, know, you I know definitely were helping. I know it's rude to talk to people in text, but I do my best. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, Info FarmCon, they do have an area for English speakers. Uh, they will also have... Uh, the presenters who were doing most of the presentations in German, to be fair, they will have English subtitles. Um, and then the <laughs> to be fair, the presenters will come back into the English uh, area and we'll be able to interview them, which will be really cool. Nice. So we'll have a lot going on. I will have uh, cameras there. I'll be doing videos, doing shorts, all kinds of cool stuff. So Are you going to stream it all or no? Uh, probably not, no. Uh, that's that's a lot of work. <laughs> so, Farmer Cop, is he going to be streaming at all? Well, I don't, I don't even know if it's legal to stream it. It's got to so, be. I mean, we streamed the Farm Sim show from there last year. We that was different. I had to ask permission. <laughs> so yeah, I don't I don't think we're going to be streaming live from the event, um, yeah. but we'll definitely be doing plenty of videos. So stay tuned. I do not have any prepared videos for next uh, Saturday or Sunday, the days of the uh, event. So we should uh, we should have a good time. Be yeah, fun. should be fun. Oh, speaking of people at the house, there's literally someone here. I mean, totally, <laughs> did you know totally... you got to go double wipe? Eh? I mean, what? No, no, not like that. There's a, somebody dropped off a package. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> All right. You got anything else you want to talk about? Uh, let's see. We will have some cool interviews with people. So if there's any other YouTubers that you know that are going or Twitch streamers, 
and uh, you want me to talk to them, chat with them, interview them, that kind of thing, uh, let me know. Mm, who's all going to be there? Good. Silly P's there, right? Silly P's there, Virtual, Virtual Farmer, um, myself, of course, Farmer Cop. Uh, let's see. Who else? Who else? Uh, FSG, Farm Sim oh, Guy. Right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Argzy Gaming's going to be there. Uh, of course, uh, Dave from G Portal, his family are going to be there as well. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Yos, he'll be there. <laughs> trying to think uh, if I've heard anyone else that's going, and I, I don't know too many people are going to FarmCon, of course, because it's on the other side of the pond for most of the yeah. people that I talk to regularly. The uh, the few guys from Germany I've spoken with, I know at least one of them, uh, Ansgar, in play. Um, okay. He's one of the biggest German YouTubers for FarmSim. Uh, yep. He will not be going this year. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. yeah. Which I was hoping to hear like Stan the Man or someone like that attending. I haven't heard anything from him. No. So um, I should probably shoot him a message and see if he's going. But yeah, I, yeah, I would say mm, highly unlikely. However, uh, he is not near as far from uh, <laughs> from it as I am. So. Oh, exactly. It's like yeah, I think people expect me to go to all these events <laughs> at this point though. I may not be so, on packs. We'll see. Next week, Farm Sim Show will be a little bit different. Like we said, it'll be uh, most likely on Thursday if it happens. Yeah. Or we'll figure something out. Yeah. So um, stay tuned to the channel. We'll see if we can give you guys a bit of a heads up. More of a heads up than we did today that it was going early. Um, to be perfectly honest, I didn't realize it was going at 12 until... He didn't. He didn't know. And I I, I thought we had talked about it last week, so I didn't We might it. have. And I totally think I'm thinking back now. I think we did, but I was thinking in the week after in my head. Yeah, but oh, I bad. thought. See, I thought you were on board because we were really early getting everything together today. Because we had lots of stuff to get. Because there's so many mods to talk about this week to get together. Oh, so many mods. Uh, Phoenix got updated. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go a week in the farm soon show without talking about an 82 Studio mod. I just did this good. <laughs> <laughs> It fits the way I play, and it's awesome. Yeah, and he's a good person. It's there hard you go. to. Uh, Derek says, "Could do the wish version." I mean, that's up to them. That's pretty much. This is pretty not. much the wish version most weeks, anyways. I don't know how you get much below it, but anyways, um, oh, I think that's going to do. There's... You got to get running, anyways. So uh, I think yeah. we'll wrap it up there. Uh, hopefully, we see you guys next week. Of course, if we don't, well, we'll we'll find a place to catch up with you guys soon enough. Uh, things could change and be in flux here for a little bit as things are kind of quiet and busy at the same time. Like, yeah, there's and not a lot of new stuff coming out yet, but maybe we, FarmCon could change things. Yeah, if we do the show in two weeks, we'll be doing it from a castle. Ooh, that could be cool. It, it could be pretty cool. <laughs> so that may be uh, that may be a fun a fun, uh, fun thing. And then the week after, I cannot do it at all uh, because I will be shoved in a hotel in, somewhere in Germany. Sounds like a reason we could do one. You could do it from the hotel like, with the time you were locked in the back of your car. Perfect. It's different. It was not locked in the back. Yo, I real quick story time. <laughs> yep. I tried to get a new hat. This hat fits perfectly, but it's almost it was over five years old. And that one of the snaps is broken, which broke in Mannheim last year at mm -hmm. Farm Gun. It's got just bits of it that are coming apart all over. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go to Lids and I'm gonna have a new custom DJ Go Ham hat made at its same logo. Same hat, but it turns out all the new hats are bigger. They've got like this fits the back of my head real nice. But the new ones, they've got this big old poofy thing right here that mm. uh, I don't know why. This one fits great. Why well, the new mm. one's got to suck. So I was like, all right, I'll get a new era hat instead. Flat bill snapback. Yep. Exact same thing as this, but it doesn't say DJ Go Ham on it. New era fits everybody. Same thing. Hats have changed in the past five years, man. It's a Maybe it's your a head. Good, Maybe your head's changed. No, my head's fine because this still fits. Yeah, but it's molded to your head. That's what it is. It just it, molded to your 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 pointy <laughs> little head. And now that back part's different and it's just yeah. it feels different, but it's the same. Anyway, the the interesting thing is so I had gone what was this, Wednesday? The third Tuesday? Anyway, it was a day this week. Uh, I had left. I'd gone to get a bunch of stuff done here in the here in town. Then I went to a town 30 minutes away, and their lids was closed for some reason. So then I had to drive 45 minutes in a different direction to a different lids in a different town. And it turned out there was a bowling alley in the mall right beside the lids. So I went there and I got some snacks and I bowled like four games. 
but it turned out that the machine was broke after they started my hat. So they needed 30 more minutes at least. <laughs> and so I went and sat in my truck and I had my iPad with me and I watched an episode of Narcos sitting in the back seat of my truck. <laughs> so uh, I, I wish I had the time you had for nothing. It, it was an interesting me. dude. I finished all the videos that I pre recorded for my trip two weeks ago. At least you didn't so, have anything really ready for your trip. What, oh, that's the, that's the other channels. That's different. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, those were like I forgot time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, dude, I went all the way around, and still, stupid hat doesn't fit. Anyway, so I have had it in the dryer, literally. Like I've been washing the hat and drying it because I know they say don't wash a hat because it'll get wrinkly and don't dry it. Well, guess what? This one's wrinkly and it fits perfect. That's your head. It's almost my look at this point. Your head. Like, oh, that hat looks old. That's his look. Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, that's just so, your head. You got the wrinkly head, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm trying. I may oh. just have to wear a farm. Uh, now I'm enlightened in DJ's hat hat size head. Size. And I swear, yeah. I'm so allergic to these stupid smells in here. I've never been allergic to Airwick before. I thought you turned it off. Did you turn I them did. off? Yeah, I did! Yeah, well, two of them upstairs I left plugged in because they smell nice. But the ones that are down here I unplug. But I'm still sneezing. I'm surprised I sneezed. Yeah, that's the that thing. <laughs> Game Room's getting a video. Uh, Game Room is, is probably not has in a video, but I think I'm going to wait until August. Because in August, I will have saved up a year's worth of VIP wheel spins. And then I have, I think, an extra 300 regular wheel spins and 80 or 90 super wheel spins. And then you got two double wheel spins for every, like, couple weeks. In the other, Anyway, there's a bunch. It's like five or 600 wheel spins. And so I think I'm going to wait an extra two months and, and then do all those at once. Oh, man. That's going to be so good. Oh, boy. You're killing I'm me seven. here, DJ. You're killing me here. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to wait to do Game Room then. How you doing, man? You good? Okay. I'm putting off the inevitable because I don't want to drive. We're going to go pick up somebody. We're going to wrap things up. Uh, thanks for watching today, guys. We'll be back again next week. Hopefully, if all goes as planned. Um, until then, stay safe out there. Uh, check in on friends and family. And um, not to go on any submarines for a while. I don't know. Just saying. Yeah, it's a pretty safe thing. Just think, you know, what would Clutch do? And then think, what would DJ do? And then be like... Not doing either of those. Not doing either of those. So Have a good week, folks. Go. We'll see you next time. <laughs>